McGregor. Hi. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm sorry I'm nervous. This is a big room. Someone just yelled out, take your clothes off. That didn't help. Uh, <laughs> it's very frustrating doing stand-up comedy for a living and having a fear of public speaking. <laughs> it's gotten to the point, I'm very self-deprecating on myself. It's gotten to the point now where I've started having self-deprecating dreams. I don't know if you've had one of those. I had one the other night where I was uh, in a fight and I got knocked out and I woke up in a hospital bed a year later and I'd been in a coma and my mum was sitting next to my bed and she had my mobile phone and she goes, you got no texts. <laughs> It's pretty annoying, and I, I've tried to, I do, I do try and talk to the audience. Sometimes I feel like if I, if I talk to someone in the audience, it'll help make a connection, but I can't do that anymore because I had a lady to gig about six months ago where uh, every now and then she was sitting where about you are, and every now and then she was just spraying perfume. Just, ch -ch -ch. just giving herself a little top up. <laughs> I thought people must be able to smell that. They must be able to hear it. Someone should say something. So I thought, I've got a mic, I'll step up. <laughs> so the next time she sprayed, ch -ch, I went, thank God you brought that, because you stink. <laughs> and no one laughed. <laughs> and no one laughed at anything I said for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> And at the end of the gig, her friend came up to me really angrily and goes, how dare you make fun of my friend with the asthma puffer? <laughs> anyway, we're married now, so it worked out. <laughs> I, and you, you wear makeup for these events, which I thought would make me feel more confident, but it, I just, uh, now I, I overthink that as well. I just, I just wonder if, if makeup didn't exist and, and no one wore makeup, and all of a sudden makeup was released on the Home Shopping Network, I would hate to be a guy who tries to buy it for his partner. <laughs> just, uh, happy Valentine's Day, honey. <laughs> Thank you, that's very kind. What it would, uh, what is this? What, what, what is this? Uh, that's a box of um, non-toxic paint. <clears throat> that's a box of um, non-toxic paint I thought you could put on your face to make yourself look better. <laughs> it's a what? <clears throat> It's a box of non-toxic paint. You just, uh, you just put it, you just, your face is going to look good in all kinds of lighting. <laughs> I heard what you said. Uh, is, it, what, is it just for special occasions or? Well, um, you'd be pretty much wearing it every day. <laughs> you can put more of it on on special occasions. <laughs> You don't have to wear it on a Sunday, um, but if our friends come around, put a little bit on. <laughs> Are you gonna wear this stuff? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Honey, I'm a man. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Guys, thank you, I really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, that was, no, I feel I should have just left. Now I'm just standing here, I'm sorry. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs>